I would have bet you a lot of money that it was going to be a no-brainer that Haynes would start this year. But then in comes Max Johnson, and then they sign Connor Wigman. As a true freshman, I don't, I, you know, I just think it'd be so hard in Jimbo's offense, and when you've got experienced guys ahead of you. But man, after watching about twelve practices, these little parts of them, but just talking to everyone I talked to, and every single day trying to kind of get feedback on what's going on, Max has been really good, and I think Jimbo knew that, and I think Jimbo was very confident that. When he got his hands on, on a guy like Max Johnson, who he wanted out of high school but didn't really get a crack at him, uh, I think he thought he would be come in and pick up the system right away, and I think he likes everything about what that guy brings to the table. He's been very good, very good. But the guy who's turned so many heads, in terms of just having all that stuff, Cole, that you just can't coach, is Connor Wigman. The feel for the pressure – getting rid of the ball so quickly and always to the right guy, uh, the accuracy and just his, his ability. And I'm not talking about as a runner because that's what they haven't even seen yet, and he's, a, he's an incredible runner. But just his feel in the pocket, knowing when to step up, when to bail out, when to spin and get out of there, where to dump the ball off to and how quickly he can get rid of it under pressure. Those are things that have really stood out. I still think that's a tall, tall hill for him to climb. Now, he might get a crack this year for one reason or the other, but he's really good, Cole. He's really – I think he has a chance to be special. But then, And then there's Haynes King, right, who won the backup job as a true freshman over Calzada, won the job outright last year, uh, has the confidence of the head coach in the locker room. He's in year three in the system. And the one thing that I think that holds Haynes back in these practice settings is he can't just cut out and run. And he's a sub-4-5 guy at 6'3". He can really go. But it's going to be fascinating to see who wins this job. And, and I truly think, I truly believe that it's a three-man race. It's not a two-man race. And it's certainly not a, a formality that it's going to be Haynes, which is what I, on some level, felt throughout the entire offseason last year. This is night and day different. 